Nope. No spitting allowed. And no heads allowed either. Well, not zombie heads. My, my head can stay. All right. Yeah, this is fun. Oh, shit. He's going to blow up. Run away. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to Undead Legacy of an Old Guy Gaming and in this episode we are going to keep working towards uh, getting our turret set up uh, out at the pit mine uh, but we're going to start uh, first of all by picking uh, these crops. I love the fact that when you pick crops the plant stays in the thingamadoodle the plot and regrows and you don't have to replant it. That is just amazing. It's also extremely laggy up here. But uh, with, you know, now that we have more shrooms coming in, we will be able to, uh, you know, start making like steak and potatoes and veggie stew and some of that kind of stuff. And we, you know, we are going to expand this farm too, um, eventually. That is in the plans, but it's just going to kind of what we got right at the moment. Okay, so... Let's put all of this wonderful produce in here. And I'm going to pull out that and put those in there. Do we have any more mushrooms in here? Yeah, we do. Let's just put the extra meat in there. Okay. Now um, that we have that, let's see what kind of good stuff we can make here. Uh, so we can make meat stew. We can make gumbo. Sham. Shepherd's pie. Man, we can make all the good stuff. Okay, let's make a spaghetti and a shepherd's pie. We can make four shepherd's pies. Nice. And then I think sham's going to be the next best thing we can make. And then that... Uh, we could do some blueberry pie, but I don't think we need to. So that's, that's going to do us good, man. Do us good. We still have three sham chowders and some of this food in here as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, we're a little bit short on potatoes, but I think we're fine. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I believe I have in the mining cart most of the stuff we need to make the turrets, except for the actual turrets themselves. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, we're going to use the SMG turret because I have lots of 10 millimeter ammo. Um, so let's pin that. And um, we're going to need... Basically, we're going to need 60 steel plate, and that's going to be the most challenging thing. As far as the motion sensors go, I thought I had already made motion sensors. Uh, I can't remember if I did or not. Maybe I have not. Oh, you're going to need more, more wood, man. Uh, let's see, you're going to need a minute. About two minutes worth of wood. Maybe a little more than that. Okay. Um, I could be imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. But I just want to double check and make sure I don't actually have a motion sensor or two. Because I thought I had made those already. Uh, but I'm not seeing them in there. They wouldn't likely be in here. And they definitely wouldn't likely be in here. In fact, this this bin's completely full. Uh, all right. So what about? Uh, no, they're not going to be in here. What about? What, oh, look at all that stuff. Beautiful. What about in here? Do I have motion sensors in here? Got a spotlight. Uh, nope. Okay. So I guess we have to make those. I guess we have to make those first. So those, I believe, we will make over here. Uh, so let's see. Motion sensors right here. So we're going to need four iron plating. And well, we got lots of titanium. I probably can't even... Can I carry that? Yeah, I can. Let's put the titanium in there and the extra gunpowder in here. Okay, so yeah, as usual, 
uh, we are exceedingly low on iron and steel. That's just kind of been the story of my life lately, it seems. So, um, let's get all that stuff out of there. All right, so we got five shepherd's pies and two spaghettis. Beautiful. So, yeah, guys, I, th I think we're going to have to go do some more mining. I mean, there's just nothing for it. <laughs> um, I'd really like to have those turrets while we're doing the mining to help keep us safe, but we need the iron for it. I really don't want to go down into the mine below, you know, our original mine because it's all jacked up. I'd have, I'd have to refix the ladders and all that. Plus, it, you know, it just calls in the screamer so quickly. And then, yeah. So, I think we're going to go back out to the pit mine and just keep working on that and see if we can get enough stuff. But we don't have enough steel to repair that. Dad, gum it. Um, yeah, because we use most of that up at the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the hard base. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out and we're going to mine enough steel until we run out of pickaxe durability and jackhammer durability. And then whatever we get at the end of that, that's what we're going to bring back uh, to make the iron and steel that we need. And hopefully it will be adequate. All right. So now that we know that that's the plan, um, I think we'll just keep the sham chowders there. I still have some coffees. I would like to take some rock busters with us. So let's do that. And you're done here. Eight sham chowders. It's a beautiful thing, man. Absolutely beautiful thing. I guess these are just some extra spike traps, too. So, I can't really repair my shotgun because I need steel for that. Uh, we could repair the M60 because that takes titanium plating, which we actually have quite a bit of. Um, not, a, not a bad thing at all that we have quite a bit of titanium. Not in the least. Okay, so yeah, let's head out and we're going to be, we're going to do some mining. Let's go do it. Now, you know, I know that I've kind of sort of done a lot of mining lately, but we just, we have to do it, you guys, and it's because we need those resources to, um, you know, to continue building the, you know, the, the Shang Tower. And more importantly, if I want to update to the, oh man, I didn't grab any fuel. Okay, let's grab that. Well, there might be fuel in here, actually. Oh yeah, we got lots of fuel in here. Uh, more importantly, I, I want to upgrade or update to the new uh, version of Undead Legacy. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do experimental or if we'll wait till a stable comes out. And in order for that to work and for us to keep our base, um, we're gonna we're gonna need to make three of the largest elevators, and they are expensive. So we just you know we've got to get these resources in order to advance and accomplish the things that I want to accomplish in this playthrough. Uh, plus, you know, if we if we go ahead and upgrade to, uh, or not upgrade, I keep saying upgrade, update uh, to the next version of the game, you know, then a lot of things will be new and we can just, you know, kind of keep this playthrough going, maybe even for a little bit longer than we otherwise would. Uh, but to, for us to get from there uh, or here to there, we got to do a bunch of mining. And <laughs> so, you know, I won't, I won't do a ton of that on camera, but on the other hand, you know, I don't have a lot of time to play this game off camera either. So, you know, we have to kind of just keep keep the episodes coming and, you know, balance it out as best as we can. All right. So with that being said, uh, let's head on over to the mine and get ourselves as much iron as we possibly can. All right, guys, we're back at the base. We have um, just shy of a thousand iron ore there. And so let's get that going immediately um i'm going to start the iron in here and then we're going to once we get a bit of it then we'll start steel in the next forge over uh so let's just get that going right now that should be enough i think for us to get everything done that we need to do uh specifically to get the two uh turrets made and have a little bit of you know left over for repairs and that sort of thing uh okay so while we're here let's put a couple things away also, I have three skill points um, that we need to do something about. So let's look at that uh, right now uh, while we're waiting. Okay, so let's see. Now, we've been working on 
uh, perception. And um, I want to get uh, more points into penetrator, but before I can do that, I need to um, get perception level six. I also want to get sniping up a little more because we're doing quite a bit of sniping. However, if we we could just what does this require? This requires strength level seven. We have an effective level seven. We could just bite the bullet and put two points into mother load and be done with it, and then we'll have a maxed out. Um, uh, where's 69er? Oh yeah, right here. So that's already maxed out and maxed out mother load. So we're getting maximum resources. And I'm gonna make an executive decision, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, cool. So now we'll get maximum resources for mining. We still have one point left, and um, I think I'll put that point into. What should we put that point into? Probably, yeah. Let's put it into to sniper rifles. Um, so we get dead eye up another point. Okay, that settles that. All right, let's take everything that we currently have here and start making steel in this one. We want, uh, yeah, this recipe here. So we need a total of um, 60 steel plating. Does it take two steel to make one plating? Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need we need to make be able to make at least 120 steel ingots. Which I think we'll be able to do. I think we'll be able to do that with the iron that we brought back. So hopefully we can anyway. <clears throat> it's going to be... Well, I think the steel ingot is, is a one-to-one, -one, right? Oh, shit. No, it's a two-to-one. All right. And then... <clears throat> two. So we need 240. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to do it. We would need 240 iron ingots. Because we need 120 steel ingots in order to make 60 steel plating, and um, and then we're also going to need to make a little bit of iron too for the for the motion sensors, but that's not going to take a whole lot. So I think it was just two, yeah, just two iron plating, and then we have everything else, plenty of everything else to make the two sensors, and then let's see, what else did we need for the turrets? Well, I guess we have it bookmarked: um, rubber, plastic, oil. Yeah, all the rest of that's going to be easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. Um, I have a bunch of 10 mils in the mining cart already, but let's grab whatever else we have there so it's ready to go. Speaking of 10 mils and ammunition in general, um, this weekend I went to the shooting range with my son, son-in-law, and nephews, and we had a lot of fun. Uh, between the... Six of us? Five of us. Between the five of us, uh, we had an AR-15 uh, that my son just purchased. Really, really nice weapon. Um, let's see. We had two shotguns. We had a double barrel side-by-side -side and a, uh, a pump-action shotgun. Um, I had my 9mm and my, 38, my Smith & Wesson 38 Special there. Um, my son had his 44 Magnum. I mean, we had all kinds of different guns that we brought. We even brought uh, the 30 out six, um, and just spent the afternoon shooting uh, at the range, and it was a lot of fun. Um, the one thing though that I I, uh, I didn't have my my ear pro all the way in on the left ear during our last shooting session, and um, I I kind of I I've got a ringing in my ear now, which is not good at all. But it, hopefully it'll be okay. I was using the you know the little foam insert thingies and I, it wasn't quite all the way in, and I was firing my son's shotgun and his and we were shooting uh, well we were shooting slugs and, and buckshot through that gun and oh man Ugh. so now my ears ringing and it's been bothering me ever since but I think it'll be okay hopefully it will be if if it's still a problem you know another couple of weeks down the road I might have to go get a check but I think it'll be okay. Anyway, uh, all that to say, yeah, it was fun to go out and do some shooting in real life. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. I don't do that very often, but uh, when I do, it's uh, we have a good time. I, I mostly, I, I don't usually actually go shooting at the range, uh, at least in the past. We, I was, I'm more of a go up into the woods, you know, bring, bring a bunch of pop cans with you or beer cans or whatever and, you know, shoot the cans and then, of course, you know, pick them up afterwards. 
uh, I, I'm kind of more of an outdoorsy type of shooter, but it's kind of fun to go to the range every once in a while too, and you know get the targets. And my son and I, um, my son-in-law, who is a police officer, and I had a bet going uh, to see who could shoot better, and he won, <laughs> which is good because he's a police officer, so he should be a better shooter than me. Uh, so I had to pay him twenty bucks. <laughs> But it was fun, man. We had a great time. All right. Anyway, uh, back to this. I, di- I digress. Um, we need another seven minutes of burn time to finish this up. Uh, 7.01, so yeah, we'll just put eight in. And let's grab what we have here. And, and just keep cranking these out. So, yeah, we need a total of 120 of these, but we'll, we'll be able to do that without any issue. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to uh, cut the camera here and <clears throat> wait till we have um, all of the steel plating that we need to make the two turrets and the iron plating that we need to make the, uh, the motion sensors. We'll get that stuff made up, and then I'll bring you back, and we'll head back out to the mine and get those turrets set up. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. We have enough steel plating um, to make the two turrets, but first thing we have to, we have to do is make the two motion sensors. Uh, so let's make two of those. That shouldn't take too long, and then we'll get the the turrets queued up. Unfortunately, however, it is uh, it's getting late. <laughs> it's already after seven o'clock uh, in the evening. So, I mean, we'll go back out there and we'll see what we can do. But I'm not I'm not going to hang out out in the wasteland at nighttime. That's not usually a recommended practice. Um, and we have a little bit of <clears throat> extra steel left over just to do some some repairing too all right so let's get the first turret going here so we want smg auto turret um right here that's the blueprint oh those don't take too long actually i figured they'd take a little bit longer than that but they they're not too bad okay so we got two smg auto turrets i believe i have everything else that i need uh, to get that those set up already in the mining cart. Uh, so let's see, did we get the rest of the steel? Yeah, let's grab that. And we just need to repair a couple of things. So let's get our pick repaired. And our shovel. And our sledgehammer. And our shotgun. Oh, I guess that uses uh, titanium. That's even better. What about you? You need steel, not that you needed to be repaired a whole lot. Uh, you. Uh, you need steel to be repaired. Okay, we might as well re repair you too. And you. Uh, you just take iron, so that's even better. Okay, so that repairs all of our tools and weapons. Uh, we do have armor that's needing some TLC. Let's grab these two pieces in particular. Oh, that's going to use all the rest of our stuff, isn't it? Uh, all right. Looks like the pants are down just a little more than the boots, so we'll repair the pants. And there we go. <laughs> all the steel's gone already. Oh, my goodness. That's all right. Once we get uh, yeah, yeah, this mine under full production, we're going to be having all kinds of iron and steel. Um, So, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so we're just waiting for these guys to finish up here. 22 seconds. All right, so I'm, when this is done, I'm going to grab it, and we're going to take off and head back out to the mine and just see how much we can get done. Also, let's grab ourselves... Uh, sure, why not? We'll take a steak and potato meal to top our food off. We're not doing too bad on beverage, but maybe we'll wash that down with some yucca. Yucca juice, that is. And, yeah, I'll see you guys back out at the mine here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are uh, out back out at the mine. Uh, we don't have a lot of time here, but let's just see what we can get done with the time that we do have. Uh, so we're going to want some of this and some of this and some of that and some of that and some of that and some of that and maybe another one of those too. Okay, we'll, we'll worry about the ammo later. Okay, so we're going to put a... Uh, here, let's pick that stuff up. We're going to put... some uh, concrete blocks right here and I think I want these to be do I want them to be up high I don't think the zombies will attack the 
the turrets. I mean, they could they could randomly hit them, I suppose. So yeah, maybe we should put them up a little higher. Okay, so let's get up here. And we'll put you in there, or you down there, rather. Okay, now we're going to run over to the other corner, the opposite corner here, and do the same thing. Um, I guess... Yeah, here, let's, let's get rid of this. doesn't really matter which direction you're turning because you're gonna turn whichever way Prepare for conflict. uh is that vulture attacking me according to Roberta the robotic drone it is but I don't think it is I mean we are actually a little bit damaged I am um, actually spraying my leg jumping down on uh, onto the hay bales, which is a little weird. I don't think it's coming after us. Uh, okay, anyway, let's, um... Well, uh, he's coming after us. Oh, you dirty rat. All right, now the buzzard's coming after us. All right, come at me, bro. There you go. Have some buckshot in your face. Okay, now, what we have to do next is we have to get over here and come down here. And we're going to need to run um, a relay. And I think I will put that... Let's put it... Mm, I hear a dog. Let's put it down here just so it's not exposed. Uh, too exposed. Okay. Great. Now, uh, let's connect to you. And to you. Can I get to you? Oh. Okay. We might have to... Do this. Still can't reach that sucker. Okay. Well, then what we'll do is put this up here. And that up there. Now let's see if we can reach it. Perfect. Okay. I'm not really too concerned about the wiring being nice and pretty right now. Uh, I just want things to be functional. I'm almost positive we're going to need another relay um, coming through here. So why don't we... This is about the halfway point, I think. So we'll put that in there. Yeah, that should be good. Again, I'm not too terribly concerned about making it look pretty just want it to be functional for now oh I suppose we better put the actual relay up um, let's put it like the other one we'll put it down below Okay, let's see if we can reach this from down here. Um, I guess we better take another steroid since we're... Well, and we only have a minute left. I'm not going to be able to reach that from here. Okay, so we're going to have to do the same thing here. It's nighttime, so that's not good. 
Master, we are not alone. Yeah, see there, because Feral Sense is on, they're all going to detect us. Let's just wait and see. If, if they come a few at a time, we should be able to handle them. If we get rushed by a bazillion of them all at the same time, then that's not going to be good. Let's go back in here where we can funnel them <clears throat> funnel them to us shut up spider oh we're all feral too of course oh yeah all right we're gonna have to use this Trying to avoid using my weapons because that's going to attract even more. But if we want to survive this, we're going to have to pull out the big boy. My senses have picked up something. Get out of here, ball sack. Nope, no spitting allowed, and no heads allowed either. Well, not zombie heads. My my head can stay. Okay, here. Better take one of these. All right, yeah, this is fun. Oh shit! He's gonna blow up. Run away! <laughs> Come on, guys, just let me finish setting my turrets up, would you? Okay, no. I don't think they want to let me finish setting my turrets up. Okay, uh, son of a bitch. Run, bandage, run. Get in here. No, get in here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> no, don't get stuck. Not a good idea. No, don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Getting stuck is not what we want to do. Um, how do we get out of here? We go this way. Okay, that thing I said about not being out in the wasteland at night not being a good idea. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Well, we almost... <laughs> we almost got it done, you guys. It was close. It was close, but not quite. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back to the base and wait until morning and then in the next episode we will come back out here and finish setting up the turrets we got really close but just couldn't quite do it the feral sense that's on you know combined with ins our insane difficulty and being in the wasteland all three of those things and my high game stage just makes this impossible there's just you know it, it ain't gonna happen <laughs> So, anyway, all right, you guys. Well, uh, yeah, we'll continue getting, we'll finish getting the turret set up in the next episode. And then after that, we'll kind of see, you know, what's going to happen next. And we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.